Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chuptember. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft redstone sand trap. This trap is actually pretty easy to make. It just cut, requires some basic knowledge. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. So for this example, I'm going to use a tripwire hook because they are very easy to use. They're hard to see. And if you position them right, your friend or enemy will just walk straight down and get tripwired. What you're going to do is you're going to see how this looks. All right, you want to make sure that they can't see the string. So if I put my string over there, let's say like this. If I put my string like that and they're walking down, they'll get this like, you see this, how it does this little invisible box. They'll get that and they'll just be able to jump right over. You just want to make sure that they're going to really trip this hook of yours. So there we go. We're just going to dig this in, slap a tripwire hook, and we're activated. So as you see, walking down, boom. Now you just want to make the uh, surrounding ground fit in. See, this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to make it so like, oh, there's one hole here. What's over here? And then they're going to look down and see that. Don't make it too um, spaced out looking. You know, maybe put a block over here, a block over here. You know, something to make it look like it's natural terrain, like this stuff. So next up is our actual redstone. So this is how these things work. See, it doesn't get tripped. The string doesn't have a redstone output. The thing that has a redstone output is the tripwire itself. I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna take a piston output. Pistons can be activated by tripwires. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find where you think the sand ends. So I think right above this block, if I were to break this block, all this sand would come toppling down. If I were to just make this look completely open, this is how you turn off a redstone torch. Just like this. You need some sort of output to go into the block under or onto it. That's how you turn off a redstone torch. So to turn this off, you cannot just go like this. I wish you could, but you just can't go like that. So, this is what we're going to do. In order to keep our redstone nice and invisible, we're going to have it right on over here. If we were to just not cover up the redstone, we will cover up the redstone, but this is what we're going to do. So as you see, we're going to need to turn this off. So this is how we're going to do that. So we're co we'll cover up the redstone as you see, I think you can see how it's easily cover upable. This is how we're going to do this. So when this tripwire gets activated, this torch will turn on by turning off this one. So you might be asking how you do that because as you see, it works perfectly. So how would we turn off this torch? Same way we did before. We're going to have a redstone input just like this. So I hope you're able to see that back there. Well, this is going to run into this torch. This is actually some pretty simple redstone. Run our redstone right on over here. Break over here for a bit. Go right in. We're going to go right into this torch. There we go. This torch is currently on, as you can see. It's running in and it's turning off this torch, which is going to keep our piston in this sort of position. A little sticky piston. When it gets an activation, this redstone is going to be activated, and it's going to run into this block, turning it off, turning this one on. Let's see. As you see, guys, the redstone works like a charm. Your friend's going to walk down. Guys, here we go. And there we go, guys. There's your redstone sand trap. So in case if anyone's confused, let me just explain what I did. So basically, I got an observer, and I put it on top of the redstone torch, and I put the red dot facing upwards on the piston. So when I trip the tripwire hook, as you know, one torch will turn off, turning the other one on, which will send a little signal to the observer. It activated the sticky piston to make the sticky piston go grab a sand block and then right as you get off it pulled the sand block back causing an activation to the entire cavern causing it to collapse in uh the good thing about this trap is that it is completely unrecognizable once it happens it just looks like it naturally happened it doesn't look like it was set up it is very easy to cover up the redstone it's just that i forgot so guys if you did enjoy this video leave a like leave a subscription uh it did take a pretty long time but it's up to you guys so and that's all that happened. If you do guys, if you guys do want more trap tutorials, just let me know and uh sheep timber out.
teardrop on my homie face, he caught a body. No DM, I'm her MCM on Instagram. My skin paint up for the color, inside whip is really jet.